Welcome to Biofuels Academy. This video is made available as part of the Biofuels Education Project, funded by the National Science Foundation and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. In this video, we want to introduce five types of gasifiers. The first one is updraft gasifier or countercurrent gasifier. In upper draft gasifier, the combustion reaction occurs at the bottom, followed by the reduction reaction in the gasification zone. In the upper part, heating and paralysis of the feedstock occur as a result of heat transfer by forced convection and radiation from the lower zones. The second type is downdraft gasifier or co-current gasifier. In this gasifier, air is introduced in the combustion zone and produced gas is removed and the bottom in the same direction. On the way down to the bottom, biomass must pass through a red-hot charcoal bed and are converted into hydrogen, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and methane. The third type of gasifier is fluidized bed. There are no distinguished reaction zones in this reactor. Fuel particles enter and the side very quickly mixed and heated up, while air enters near the bottom with enough speed to fully suspend the reactor bed. All reductions take place rapidly and simultaneously. The fourth one is in trained flow gasifier. Coal fines, air and steam are fed into the top. Very high rates of gasification reaction with high carbon conversion are taking place because of the high temperature. Typically, residence time is only a few seconds. The slurry is decomposed into hydrogen, carbon monoxide and methane. The last one introduced here is plasma gasifier. In this gasifier, electricity is passed between two metal electrodes, creating an electrical arc. Pressurized inert gas is ionized when passing through the arc creating plasma, and temperature is raised. The reactor operates at a slightly negative pressure. Some references used in generating the videos are listed here. The members of the project gratefully acknowledge the financial support from the National Science Foundation and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website at www.biofuelsacademy.org.